Happy Thursday from Candy's Best Life Over 50. Welcome. Thanks for being here. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe. I'm um, going to be posting lots of content here. So the more subscribers I can get, the more content I'll do. So let me just preface this with, if you don't want to hear my opinion today, this is your trigger warning. Exit now. I'm just being honest, okay? So, let's be real. Did everybody leave that needed to leave? Okay, I gave you a minute, it's on. So today, the video has been released. Thank you, Mike Johnson, for all the 300,000 hours of Capitol footage that he got released because Kamala Harris was caught on camera leaving the Capitol building at a very gingerly pace, I might add. Okay, stop right there. Step back and remember. Do you remember when she sat down with one of the communist networks and did propaganda interview saying how she had to be rushed out of there. It was such a dangerous situation, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that was a lie because she was taken out before Trump's speech ever even happened. And it's on the CRT footage from the Capitol. I mean, you know, that whole stupid uh, so-called January 6th committee. Oh yeah, they don't want anything, any of this to come out, you guys. So here's my, here's what I think happened, okay? And the video footage is coming out to prove me right. So first of all, before I go any further, if you don't follow Dan Bongino on Rumble, you need to go follow him because part of the story is gonna tie into something he's digging into and he's not gonna let it go. So first off, they took her out of the Capitol building before Trump's speech even occurred and took her over to the DNC building. This so-called insurrection hadn't even happened yet because Trump hadn't even done his speech, let alone finished his speech. So when she was removed from the Capitol building, it was all a scam. Like it was all planned. Because why else would she have left so early? Because the so-called insurrection hadn't even happened yet. Okay. They took her over to the DNC building. Now, again, take your brain back to January 6th and a few days after. And remember how there was this little story, very little story, about a pipe bomb that they found outside of the DNC. Do you remember hearing about it and then you never heard any more about it? Okay, well, if you wanna hear more about it now, you need to go follow Dan Bongino on Rumble. He's digging into this. He's an ex-presidential bodyguard. He was on, um, you know, duty with Obama. Dude knows what he's talking about. He knows protocols. He knows all the things, okay? And he knows this is all BS. So the fact that they dropped the story, don't talk about it, especially your communist networks, they don't talk about it because they know it's coming out, all right? So they said there was this pipe bomb that was found and they did some fake footage of a robot going in and detonating the whole pipe bomb. But... The CIT footage from the street out there showed this was obviously this wasn't released until after Mike Johnson got it all released. It showed the people who were assigned to Kamala Harris when she was brought over to the DNC, how they did a sweep with like a bomb sniffing dog and walked around and this so-called pipe bomb was sitting right there. It was you could see it on camera. Okay. Um, and the Secret Service was told by a Capitol Police, hey, it looks like there's a bomb over there, and they did nothing, okay? Because it was propaganda, just like everything from communist networks. Okay, so that was all fake. That was all a backup plan in case they couldn't rile up the Trump supporters enough by spraying them with pepper spray and shooting them with those rubber bullets and you know, beating people to death and shooting people to death in the throat. 
because that happened. The only people that died there that day were unarmed and they were patriots. The police officer that they said was beaten to death, he died days later and he had no injuries. So that was also communist network propaganda. So I know this video is all over the place. Lots of pieces and nitbits of information for you. But if you're like me, you get, you're like a dog with a bone. You want a little bit of information so you can get on your computer and do your own homework. Do it. Do it. Because what we've been told about January 6th has all been a lie. If you got your information from the communist networks. Okay? It's all been fake. Go to Rumble, follow some people, and get the truth. Feel me? You got me? Because if you keep listening to this propaganda, you're going to do the wrong thing in November. And honestly, we are at the end stages of saving the United States of America. We are at the very end. This is our last chance. November is our last chance. The communists have... They've escalated their plan because they wanted Hillary to win in 2016. They didn't expect Donald Trump to win. So that slowed them down a whole four years. So the last three and a half years have been like the communist plan on steroids. Okay, everything's happened so fast. And if you don't believe me, look back when Trump left his presidency. How was your pocketbook? How much money did you have? How much were you paying on your credit cards or your home loan or your car loan or for groceries or gasoline that right there should be enough to piss everybody off you know how many people cross the border every year we had a wall stopping it and our president certainly wasn't flying people in under the radar and not telling us about it so pay attention people this is our last stand to save the United States. And I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna stand here and watch it happen. I'm gonna die for our country if needed. Will you?